Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope you guys are doing well. My name is Patrick and this is the CIA Corner Show. Please do us a favor, like, share and subscribe to this channel. Oh, I'll go straight to the point here. I will title, I will title this Bet Rate Migration Jabba Pension. Let me stop there. Let's go to the intro. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. I appreciate you for the likes, subscribing, the comments. I do appreciate them. Please do us a favor once again. Please like, share, recommend someone to this channel. Um, let them hear from us. And you think um, you have an opposing view, you are free to express yourself. Okay? You are free to express yourself. Okay. So I want to talk about um, death rates. Jabba. That's the Nigerian term of uh, migration and pension okay i will take my time here but i just want to make, establish some facts okay so it has uh, it appears that france has the highest bet rates in the western world mm. and it appears that migration from Africa to Europe and America has gone through the roof. And it is a fact that debt rates, or put it this way, the old, the old guys are living longer. Mm. I come again. Debt rates, migration, and pensioners. I'll say it again. Pensioners are living longer. Migration has increased. And France's debt rates has gone up. But in other countries, Japan, South Korea, debt rates is dropping. Dropping. I think I'll have a part two of this and I'll focus more on France. But for now, let's tie these three together. Okay. So what's going on? In general, birth rate has fallen. And when birth rate has fallen, now, let me put it, there's something we call pension. So as you age, you expect the state to then fund you know, give you some money every month because you've contributed to the coffers. Pension. Now, pensioners are getting are aging and they are, they are, they are, the debt rate among the pensioners is lower. It then means that the government needs to sustain the pension. And since they've got low debt rates, those in work has reduced or has fallen because of low debt rates. So if they don't act on it, the pensioners will not be able to get their pension because the government will be struggling. So balance, they need to balance it. So that's where migration comes in. So they will open their border to allow skilled people to come in. The skilled people will then come in to contribute to the system. By contributing to the system, 
if the system grows, then the government from there would then sustain the pension of these or those old men and women. So says the 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 young guys the the bet the bet rate has declined, and the possibility of tax is reducing. The gate for migration opened, and that's where Japan comes in. So in Nigeria, this word Jabba means you know people running from Nigeria to the you know for green pastures or for greener pastures. Now, those coming to work, I mean the Jabba and the, the migrate. Let me use the word migration. The migrants will need to will be used by the government. To cover the shortfall because the pensioners have contributed they need to be rewarded because if the pensioner suffers the 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 um the what's the one the repercussion will be huge for the government or for election so, because in the West, the government's policies, if it goes well, extends their stay in power. But if it goes down here, it affects the government. It affects the government. It does. So, the government will try to balance these things in order for them to retain power. So in United Kingdom, for example, that was the reason why Sunak was trying as much as possible to make sure. I would like you to listen to the, if you don't listen to it, the Rwanda um, video that I made, the Rwanda bill that just went past. Because migration is a problem and these are undocumented people. They can't work because the law pro prohibits them to work. So they can't earn a living. Because if they allow them to work, then they will be able to contribute. But the system or the law doesn't allow them to work. You get it? Now, the migrants, when they come here, would then need to work because remember, now, it depends on the age they came in. Say, for example, many of, uh, for example, in Nigeria, Ghana, and then others, some of them come in at the age of, some of them, 40 years. I've heard of one that migrated at the age of seven, 60. So the one that migrated at the age of 60, you know, will make sure that he has a lot of money because he's not going to get pension here unless he works for a minimum of 10 years. And I think maximum of 35 years or so to get a basic pension. Basic. Basic. So when you see guys from the Africa that comes in their in their forties, they will need to work. They will need to work. But you won't blame them because they're looking for green pastures and their their government has failed them. So they've got no choice than to vacate. So what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to link migration, pension, and birth rates. I will leave you there. If you have anything to add to this, let me not let me know. Comment. Peace.